In aerodynamics, there's two ways you can design an aerodynamic object. You can either design it and then test it in the wind tunnel and refine it in the wind tunnel. That's the way we've done it for 100 years. But now you can also use computational fluid dynamics, which is wind tunnel in a computer. One of the things that's great about computational fluid dynamics is that, as you can see, you can, you can help visualize the flow and what's actually happening around the vehicle, what happens in the wake of the vehicle. And you can understand qualitatively how that flow is changing. If you think about it, we're in the computer. We're going to take all the air around the race car or airplane. We're going to cut it into tiny little minute cubes, and we're going to satisfy all the equations that control what happens to fluids in millions and millions of little cubes. So we need some serious computing power to do that. Um, with the wind tunnel, you can get results out very quickly. And when you're, if you're developing a car, you can, get, you can get data very quickly, much faster than, say, you can in the sense of, of a computational model. The problem is that whenever you come up with a new idea, a new concept, you have to actually make a part to put on the wind tunnel model. So if we can do as much work as possible outside of that wind tunnel, we can do simulation on a computer ahead of time. We will not only save time, but we will save the investment that it takes in building a wind tunnel model that may not work out for us right. So this is a scale model wind tunnel. Uh, it's a 50% scale tunnel. What that means is that we can test models up to about 50% scale or half scale, half the size of a full scale vehicle. So when you, when you stand on your bathroom scale in the morning to see how much you weigh, you get your weight, which is just the force going down. This particular scale, okay, or balance, can measure the downforce, it can measure the drag on the vehicle, the side force, and the corresponding torques in, in those, same, those same directions. Computational fluid dynamics allows us to discover things we haven't imagined before. And the reason for that is, unlike a wind tunnel, I can get the answer and weeks later go as if I were inside the wind tunnel and measuring every quantity anywhere around the car or airplane. I can see the velocity, the pressure, the temperature changes. I can see the flow patterns. So I don't only get the big answer, which is how much drag, how much lift, I can also see what's happening, where, what looks different than I expected, and it's usually those places that lead us to the new discoveries. With the advent you know, of, of supercomputing, and as it continues to get more and more capable, you can do more and more with CFD. You can do more and more with finite element analysis and crash simulation and things along those lines. So it's just, you know, for us, since we've involved with the high performance vehicles, and you know, Cray has has had the name with stamp in the sense of high performance computing, supercomputing. It was it was a great marriage.